Hello there. Uh, today, just like to share. Uh, well, it's not my technique, a technique, how to make quick and easy circuit boards, like this one. Um, just using the um, copper clad board, single sided. As you can see, some um, components on this side. Um, a through hole and then on the back those um, capacitors and protection diodes are just soldered on surface mount. Uh, I bodged up a bit there so I had to tack a bit, a bit on. But what I'm making here today is a variable low pass filter which goes from about 10 hertz to what did we just say 10 hertz to about 300 hertz so basically i just uh, this is the circuit or a circuit from um, ESP where are we Elliott Sound Products variable low pass filter um, these um, what do you call it these values here are wrong so what I've done, I basically built it on a breadboard, check that it's working okay, and it just uses one TL072. And then I've done a rough layout here, and these are the pads of the op amp here. So I've just done a rough layout, it's a very simple circuit. Um, I sort of changed my mind a bit halfway through because I was going to, as you see, it's got a that is supposed to be a potentiometer there. So this is the pot I'm using. It's actually a 50k. I got me sums wrong there. And as you can see here, I've got pads for the pot, and I was going to use like flying leads to get there. But I've worked out roughly I'll just show you how this is going to fit in that pot is going to go in something like that sticking on the end there and so I've worked out I can get so the pot will be here and so we can get to there 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 and then just probably have to run a jumper over to there. So it's sort of by basically shaping, cutting and shaping some copper clad board. Um, just use an old ruler, put it on where I want to go, and then using a Dremel or hobby um, hobby drill with a uh, sharp diamond bit, just go down the line and cut it out. So now I've got it roughly to size, well it is to size, use the file to go along the edges, just round the corners off a bit. So now I've got to transfer this onto here, trying not to screw up, which uh, I frequently do by transferring it on the wrong way, because we're looking at a mirror, imi mirror image. So I think that has got to go onto here, the other way around if you're with me. So anyway, what I do, I basically, on a small circuit like this, I work it out as I go along. Uh, frequently make mistakes, but, um, you know, we can we can wing it and we can sort of alter them and um, fix them as we go along. Unfortunately, the video production of this uh, video isn't brilliant because I've lost the uh, bit that go, fixes the camera to the tripod. So... I'm going to have to somehow prop that up and give you an idea of what the crack is. So in this case we've got two fixed components as it were. We've got the op amp and the pot. So first I'm going to start by fixing the pot on there. Uh, which basically I do by using calipers to measure distances and then transfer that to that. Sometimes, like um, with capacitors, for instance, I'll just transfer like the distance directly onto it. 
but basically I'm, what I'm doing, I'm putting those on there and then I'll work out using that, using this sketch here as a guide, then I'll work out where the resistors and capacitors go. Alright, I hope you can see that okay. Right, so I've put me pot uh, where the pins go there and basically I've done that I'll try and show you that just by placing it there I hope you can see the two lines so I've got me two lines and how I get the lines um, square with this face here just use my thumb oh, sorry, just use my thumb and pencil and you can get a straight line like so and like so and then I've done the same for the um, spacing of the pins down like so like so like so and then now I've done the spacing between the, t the uh, pins on the op amp which is 8mm Sometimes I'll take it off the data sheet as well, but a lot of times I'll just measure it uh, with the calipers as I showed you. And then I'm just going to place this roughly central. So then what I'll do to get the pin spacings, obviously it helps if you've got a sharp pencil. I'll place that like that and then I'll, I'll try and do this. So we want it roughly central. And then I'll just get the pencil, mark them off, like that. Looks about right. I think they're about two or three mil in between those. And then again, what I'll do is, hope you can see that, I'll just go transfer that across. Like that. A lot of this I do by eye, so um, I've got quite good hand-eye coordination. Been doing it a little while, so I can I can gauge whether it's wrong or not. And then what I'll do that uh, now is to, and what I'll do now, I'll just go with the centre punch, and then just. Just put a little punch there and then basically I don't use a, um, a drill to drill the holes out I just use the same tool so I use the same tool for all the um, tracing out the tracers and for drilling the holes it's a little bit fiddly and some holes you end up a bit too big but it works and it's quick so I'll pause that now, get those drilled and then we'll continue on. Uh, just one point, right, so I've centre popped, centre punched those, hope you can see. Normally what I would do with a PCB, before I do any of this, I would measure and mark out and drill um, fixing holes to fix to um, your chassis or whatever, your, um, your project box. So I'd usually put those first and then uh, put isolating tracers around them. But as this is going to be held by the pot and it's only a very light bore, then there's no need to do that. Right, I'll get those drilled and then uh, we'll work out the rest from there.
So, as you saw, I was holding that at an angle, and I uh, did that basically to make sure that I got them accurate. And now I'll just continue to drill them deeper. And as you can see now, that's come through the other side. So, in order not to drill them too big, because this is a V-shaped tool, I drill from this side. Obviously you've got to be careful with the op amp legs so you don't want them too big. Now drill from this side. Usually here, what I'll do is to use um, one of those sockets, an up amp socket. Well, you know, uh, yeah, dip for is it no dip eight, isn't it? Dip eight socket. There we go. Get in there. Come on, baby. There. So that's a rock pump in there. It's a little bit crooked. Usually what I would do, I would square all this up. It's a little bit hard with the camera, how it is. I can see that some of these aren't big enough. And there's solder on there as well. So I'll make these bigger. Clean the pot up. Get some of the solder off there. Back in a sec. So that's our pot mounted on there. And then the next step um, is to, I'm going to clean this up. Uh, with a bit of sandpaper, a bit of wet and dry, uh, very fine grit. Clean this up so we can see the traces better. And then next thing to do is to trace out where all our traces are going to go. Uh, 